Shadow boxes are used for tre treasured memories more so than anything else. I have put many things in a shadow box from real elephant ears to grandma's medicine cabinet. Uh, in picking a shadow box, you want to have the stuff that you're going to frame so that you can see where it's going to set in it and if you have clearance for your glass and your back as well. This one is very questionable. As I use this piece of mat board to put it here, it just barely covers. I have enough room for my glass. I have enough room to where this will set without hitting the glass. Where if I chose one of these for this, it would never work. It will work on this one, barely. As I put that piece of mat board in there, it allows me to put it in there with ease so I know that my glass is going to cover. Or if I used one of these with that, there's just no way that I could get it all in there and a piece of glass over the top of it to make it all work. Size is very important in a shadow box. You want to give yourself enough room, but you don't want to give yourself so much room that it overpowers it. If I was to use that one, it would look pretty dwarfed in there. So it's really important to take a look at all the pieces that you're going to put in your box as you go to put it in the box. It helps give you one prettier picture in the end.